Welcome to Patches of Time. A patchwork quilt got me started in reselling. Now I've been selling for over three years. I sell on Poshmark Canada and for my American friends, whatnot. Join me to see what kind of adventures we can patch together. Hello, hello. Welcome to this week's thrifting haul. Um, we had swimming lessons this week, so I was had to drive out of town to go to swimming lessons because we don't have a pool in our town. So I was able to hit up a couple different thrift stores because they were either in the town that we had swimming lessons in or was closer than I am currently to them. So I got to hit up a new store this week. So first things first, I'm going to show you the items that I got at our local thrift store. And so um, there wasn't, I've been, I go there quite often so I don't always get a big haul from there and this time I didn't I only got these three items so this is a porcelain candlestick and it's got cute little strawberries or raspberries on the edge there and these little swirls and it is made in Japan and it's numbered and it was for enterprise exclusive in Toronto Canada and it's got little squigglies on the back Oops, sorry, I bumped you. Nice little candlestick, good shape. I actually picked this up for free. And then I also picked up this um, little trinket dish or tea bag dish. And it is made, let's see if we can get that right. There you go. In West Germany. It says 19. 30 on it but i don't know if that's just the year that that company was established it's got a cute little floral pattern on the front it's a nice little tea dish like tea bag dish or trinket dish it'd be a nice place to display your rings and then i also got at our local thrift store this trinket dish it's shell shaped it's got i think it's a transfer on the inside but it looks too good to be hand painted a nice uh, olive green color with a gold rim and on the back you can see there that is royal winton from england and it's got crazy and stuff so it must be pretty old and it's in good shape no chips or cracks and also at our, that, our local store i picked up just give me a second to back up here um, uh, I picked up a magazine rack, so I'm going to hold both the camera and the magazine rack, one with each hand. So it would be good for, it's either like a log rack, like for logs or for uh, magazines. You could put blankets or your throw pillows in there. It's got these interesting little knobby uh, feet and a uh, nice smooth handle with some details and it's brass so I grabbed that. I've had an item like that a couple different times and it's done quite well for me so I usually try picking those up when I get them. So the next thing we went to was to right in the town where we're having swim lessons in Redverse is a place called Grandma's Closet and uh it's mostly clothing, but I did find some hard good items. So I found this little pottery dish with cute little puppies on it. And it's a ring holder. It is artist signed. I can't quite make that out. But when I post this, it'll just have artist signed on the bottom. And a picture of the bottom. Uh, this will be... And along with these dishes and all the little things that you see that I've purchased will be in my upcoming whatnot auction on July 25th. And the link for that will be in the description. And also I got this art glass bird. It's got some uh, glass flecks in there. I'm not going to say that's millifori. It's just flecks of glass. Little different glass eyeballs there, one on each side. It does have, it's hard, really hard to see in the camera lens. But he does have a chip on his 
right there on his wing but it's not really noticeable from here and uh, he's made in Taiwan so I just thought it was a little interesting our glass piece uh, maybe an albatross or a seagull because he's on a little wave here so he'll be that one will be going up in the whatnot sale as well then I got this little owl so there was a little boy running around the thrift store and he like took a shining to my youngest boy my youngest boy always some for some reason always has that happen to him little kids are just drawn to him and he gave him this <laughs> and I don't know where he got it from because I didn't see it on the shelves but I was like yeah I'll take that <laughs> So I grabbed it. Oh no, is it chip on a bum? Oh yeah. No, is that paint? No, yeah. It's a little chip on his bum. But besides that, it's in really good shape. It's made in Japan. A little fluffy owl. Uh, it's a hole in the top. I don't think it would have came with the lid. I'm going to assume that's a toothpick holder. And then uh, I also picked up these just clear carnival glass. Uh, plates so there's this one that's kind of shell shaped and I don't know the patterns of them if you guys know the patterns of these plates just let me know because I'm just learning carnival glass there's so much in carnival glass to learn and then I picked up this other one that looks like more like a flower more like a sunflower and it's got iridescence on it clear carnival glass. I only paid a couple dollars for those. And then I also picked up in the background here this um, coffee pot. It's a coffee perk. So it's an electric coffee perk. Um, it has its cord and all of the pieces are in here. Hold on to this. It's made by oopsies opal manufacturing company and from toronto canada um the cord is still there in good shape i wouldn't necessarily use it but unless you got it all checked out what it does have let's take the lid off here all of the pieces so let's bring it back down so it's got the little filter part and then that comes out so the water would come out here and be filtered and then that would have the coffee in it and then it would drain through down here to the bottom. So it's in pretty good shape. There's an element down there that keeps the coffee warm. All the pieces are there. Um, I have quite a bit of experience with coffee perks because our community uses them all the time. So when you're asked to set up for a community event you have to start the coffee <laughs> and i've done that often so yeah and then i looked those up online on poshmark sold comps which if anyone wants to know how to do that i'll let you guys i can do a video on that but i looked it up on sold comps and uh they sell for about 50 25 to 50 dollars some of them the corningware ones sell for hundred oh like around a hundred dollars so the next um stop i did is i went to Cardiff, and Cardiff i've never been there before and it's a little bit far away it's like an hour away from me so i don't never never made the trip just to kind of just to go to the thrift store but because we were already halfway there i decided to continue on and the kids were game they wanted to go so there I was a little worried because I knew that the prices were probably going to be a little bit higher than other thrift stores. So when I walked in upstairs, all the hard goods are upstairs, I found this cream and sugar set, which you're probably like, oh, why are you so excited about it? But I'm excited about it because I have the matching cookie canister right there. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty lucky to find these. And... Then I was kind of worried about how much they were going to cost because it, uh, that company that runs, it's a company that runs these thrift stores and they tend to run a little high. They're more like vintage stores than thrift stores. And it was only two fifty, So I was pretty excited about that. So I grabbed both of them. And then beside them, there was a, 
uh, pair of skunk salt and pepper shakers and they were also marked reasonably and I'm like oh wow this is gonna be a good day this is gonna be better than I thought but the reason why those were marked like that is because they were broken <laughs> so then I started looking around and yeah the prices were a little bit higher than what I'm used to but I was still able to find a couple more things um, I found this great big plastic serving tray it's huge just lift it up, lift you guys up here so you can see it. It's, uh, yeah, so it's quite big. It would be almost two feet across. And these are called a Fabon tray. So this is actually fabric that's been applied and then like sealed to a plastic tray. I had this beautiful rose pattern in the oranges and yellows that I am drawn to. And I couldn't leave it there, so I got that. Speaking of oranges, I also was able to get this orange art glass compote. And it is definitely Hank Bowen um, art glass. I'm not going to say it's Murano or anything because I don't think it is. It's probably Chinese glass, but it's still really retro with the way that the floral design is on it. And then you can see here on the bottom right here, there is a pedestal mark. From being hand blown and it was 850 so I thought I could handle that for 850 a little bit on the higher side but then it turned out that when I went to go pay all the stuff I had bought were 75% off anyway so I ended up getting a pretty good deal that's a story um, my daughter plays hockey there sometimes uh, against that team so if it's on a day that they're open I'll probably stop in again well, when I drop her off at the rink, she can go get dressed and then I'll run to the thrift store real quick. And yeah, that was all of it. So, like I said, some of these items will be coming like this owl. And a couple of those other items will be available in my whatnot sale coming up on July 25th. And the links for that will be in the description. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in anything you have seen today, the shopping links are posted in the description. Please like and subscribe for more fun times.